everyone, Chris here, the RC Geek, coming to you from the shop, and today we're taking a look at the new and improved E-Flight T28 Trojan, the 1.2 meter. This was a previously discontinued model. It's back now after a couple of years not being available, and it is an amazing flying airplane. I've not flown the previous incarnation of this airplane, and I can't say enough good things about how it flies. I was extremely impressed. Uh, and so in terms of what's new on this incarnation, the airplane now comes with smart, uh, and so you've got the full telemetry available to you, uh, and also you have a hatch latch on the canopy, whereas it was magnets before. Uh, and the big one being now with the smart ESC that's in there, you can fly it with 3S, and you can fly it with 4S, and it rips on 4S. Uh, it's extremely fun. So let's get into some of the assembly. Uh, we'll talk through that, we'll talk through my setup, uh, and then how it flies. Uh, and so yeah, let's go. Now, with respect to the assembly, you know, the airplane comes with all the major components and, you know, as you saw, it <laughs> pretty much assembles itself. Uh, I'm joking, of course, but you just slide the tails on, you drop the wing into place, put the propeller on, and, and that's it. Uh, and so it is a really simple assembly, which is nice. The airplane together on the bench, you know, it looks good. Uh, the paint scheme is, a, you know, a variation of what they had previously offered. Uh, but you've got a different tail flash there, and you've also got the, the tiger mouth on the front. Otherwise, you know, very similar. Uh, but what I did notice is, as a whole, the airframe is extremely smooth. Uh, and so, you know, that opens up opportunities if someone were to want to paint it or something like that. Otherwise, you know, in terms of the setup and the controls, through flying the airplane, I ultimately settled on my high-rate ailerons and my low-rate uh, elevator. Uh, and so those... Deflections equate to, for the aileron, I'm at 90% travel, which equates to 15 millimeters up and down, and I'm using 10% expo there. For the elevator, 60% travel, and that equates to 8 millimeters up and down, and no expo on the elevator at all. And then for the rudder, I'm at 100% travel, uh, which equates to 20 millimeters left to right with 25% expo, and that really helps to desensitize the steering uh, on the ground. And for the flaps, I'm at 17 millimeters for the mid and 37 millimeters uh, for the full flap setting. And there's no elevator mix required there, which is great. But do be aware, you know, you do want to slow the airplane down a bit before you do uh, deploy the flaps. And then for the CG, you know, I'm using a 4S 3200 milliamp hour pack. Uh, man, it <laughs> rips the airplane around uh, and has gobs of power. So when you look at the placement, there's three Velcro straps in there. Well, I have the front of the pack at the middle Velcro strap, and then it's fastened at the rear too. Uh, and so that CG equates to about 85 to 90 millimeters as measured from the wing root leading edge aft. Uh, and if you look at the wing root, uh, there's actually a panel line that's underneath the black wing walk stickers. Well, there is uh, an angled line and then a cordwise line and where they intersect that point, uh, if you pick the airplane up around there with your fingertips uh, and you have it more or less level, that equates to that CG location. Uh, and so that gives you a landmark to use that makes it really simple. I like a little bit of down elevator input in the inverted and, and so it felt great to me. And so flying the airplane, you know, as I mentioned at the beginning, it is an amazing flyer. I have not flown the 1.2 meter T28 before uh, and it is fantastic. In fact, you know, having of all the airplanes that I've flown in this size, I honestly feel that this is the best flyer in that category. And so that really says a lot about how the airplane flies. Now I'm flying it on four cells. You can fly it on three cells as well. Uh, I haven't had a chance to do that yet, so I will come back and give you guys a three cell flight. Otherwise, you know, on four cells, man, you can go straight up from takeoff if you want. It's quick. 
Uh, but the nice thing about it is with that speed and power, the airplane maneuvers extremely nicely. Uh, and so it's very axial in the rolls. Uh, it locks in extremely true through the maneuvers. Uh, and so that's what really makes it fly so exceptionally well is how well it tracks in the air. One thing I will mention is on the landings, you know, the, the landing gear are pretty tall and kind of stilty, right? Uh, and so it's extremely important to ensure that you flare in the touchdown. Otherwise, if you touch nose wheel first, you're going to end up hopping along the runway and you could get into trouble. So you got to make sure you get that nose up in the landing and it lands beautifully. Uh, just carrying a touch of power in the flare, it'll just float and really land softly. And the other thing is the slow flight with the flaps down, and it really just locks in really slow. It maintains maneuverability. Uh, and so, yeah, it's extremely fun. A huge speed envelope the airplane has. And so you can do all kinds of stuff with it. And so, yeah, let's take this out to the field. We'll give you guys a flight. This is the 4S 3200 milliamp hour smart battery. Works great in the airplane. And as I mentioned, I haven't had a chance to fly it on three cells yet. So I'll do a dedicated video uh, to that. So, yeah, check it out. We'll come back. We'll wrap this up. See some real. What the hell? hell? Dinner. <laughs> Take them out for dinner for a hundred bucks. It's gone. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, you know, I really didn't know what to expect with this airplane, and man, it is fantastic. I really like the speed and power you get with four cells. Obviously, it's not scale, uh, but what it does is it, it makes the airplane fly and feel bigger than it really is. Uh, and so, yeah, I'll give you guys a, a three cell flight when I get a chance, uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, but otherwise, you know, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow along on social media at the RC Geek. Subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you at the field. This flies so good. <laughs> Check out the shirt. Head of Nixon, body of Agnew. Nothing beats the great taste of a Charleston chew. Come on, Agnew. Let's go. Futurama, man. He was the president of Earth. My fellow Earthicans.
Today is Freedom Day. <laughs> Come on, Agnew. Let's go. <laughs> that was pretty good.